Hello friends, this is Kishore here. Welcome back to my channel Kcops Blocks. So in this uh, video, what you are going to see is uh, how to connect UPS in your home. If you are uh, bought, if you bought a new UPS for your home with the battery and uh, inverter, uh, then fine. You know, uh, you still you can watch this video. Uh, if you are going to uh, move your home and you you are trying to connect it by do, do it by yourself then also you can watch it so who not supposed to watch is who are don't know what is faces who don't know what is neutral who don't know what is um, grounding so you should know a few things and how to use tester if you don't know this and all please don't watch it so if you know everything uh, you can do it okay so I am an electronics uh, student when I was studying so I know everything how to how it works so I know basics how UPS uh, works as well so I am doing it by myself okay okay so now what you need to do is um, first before connecting UPS in your home uh, it was UPS was never never before then what you need to do now you need to find what is your uh, UPS capability so some people buy UPS only for the lightings and uh, uh, electro router laptop for those works people buy UPS okay so that one kilowatt is more than sufficient uh, to run all the electronics uh, during a power outage okay so now uh, in in this uh, home I am also using a one kilowatt only so if you are using uh, more than a 3 kilowatt then you can use uh, um, you can connect just directly with the uh, existing setup but uh, mine is a uh, lower uh, variant 1 kilowatt is uh, more than sufficient for lighting everything uh, electronics and all so I am using 1 kilowatt and how to connect those so before connecting you need to know one thing for which and all electronics you are going to use where those plugs and all coming where those uh, lightings are coming and those lightings and all in single line will come that cable separate and uh, fridge washing machine and uh, high, higher amp lines and all separate now my home it is separated so I am going to connect UPS let's see how to connect it I prefer to buy this type of case uh, to protect your battery and inverter now I am uh, inserting the indicator which indicate you uh, what is the liquid level inside the battery so if it is uh, below the red line the knob what you see over there there is a circle red red circle and green circle if it is below the red circle you need to refill the distilled water and uh, while refilling make sure it is not cross above the green line um, green circle what you see there okay this is a uh, Ambron tall tubular battery and uh, it's a quick charging uh, model and safety instructions uh, how to use it wear a goggles do not tumble those safety instruction and this model and this is a negative terminal and this is a positive one okay let's connect the uh, inverter so whenever you connecting inverter make sure you are not connecting the positive one first negative one is the best okay there's a positive terminal and there's a negative one so while connecting the negative terminal make sure uh, once you connected you tighten it very well and uh, if you are installing newly um, in a battery case you will get a gel kind of stuff which you need to place on top of uh, knobs so what i'm doing right now okay when you are placing a positive terminal you may see some spark so that's quite normal don't get scared and connect it make sure you are not touching both the terminals that's sufficient
make it uh, very good tight so that uh, when inverter switching from uh, line to the battery there will be a uh, spark and uh, sometime when you are using a battery um, salt stuff and all start to accumulate on top of the um, battery so it will prevent uh, that okay as soon as i connect the um, battery terminal inverter got on so i am switching off it so you can see battery ups on yeah so now it is off okay everything is tight and fit you can see there is a ac out so this from here um, a terminal will go to the home lightings so let's uh, work on the cabling main part now uh, you can see the in my home uh, it is already bifurcated uh, higher ramps that side is there and the lower ramps lightings and all this side is there so i'm going to switch up the input just to uh, be safer side so below one is my own home one it's not getting on okay um, before touch the cable um, always check twice because um, electric shock is really annoying so i don't want that so i am checking with the if any polar um, change or anything happened in the while installing before me so we need to prevent about from that so this is a port uh, socket which is going to the uh, inverter so i'll show you which uh, cable i need to terminate this is a positive one and the other one is negative so positive which is going inside the home which will uh, which will come out from the inverter so i have terminated the positive cable only because negative and grounding will come from the socket itself the plug uh, which come which goes uh, in for the inverter so this one for the inside to the home this is in inside to the inverter i have i have uh, crimped the cable for a negative terminal it is a t joint so i'll connect it negative terminal we no need to terminate okay and this is a ground cable grounding cable and uh, this is a higher ramps uh, port you no need to worry about that much but in my home i am going to install uh, another socket for my electric uh, uh, vehicle uh, if anything i buy in a future this is input for the inverter and this is negative this is uh, output of the inverter i'll show you in some time uh, negative output so output is going inside the home negative is t joint so i have laid the cable you can see here and there is another cable this is what in input to the home or uh, output of the inverter okay so this cable i need to connect since it is a both are same color uh, we cannot uh, find or know which is positive and which is negative for that we need to switch on and uh, test uh, with the tester so now i am testing which is input i believe it is off yeah okay now we'll see higher ramps which is a positive terminal since i am using higher ramps for uh, electric vehicle charging okay this one is higher ramps positive and uh, ups uh, or inverters positive is this one okay 
so let me connect those two cable to the switch okay make sure you switch off uh, before connecting or touching the cable so i have connected it to the switch now let me show this side okay uh, the blue color cable for the inverter input and the red color for additional socket so below one is input and above one is connected to the plug from the switch so let me switch on it once okay now test it with the tester um, below port yeah in the switch yes it is light is glowing in the tester yes you can see ups uh, input is glowing light yeah now i switched off it you can see it is switched off now and uh, this is additional socket is getting on yes now i switch i will switch off it you can see it is switched off right now we'll both make it on okay yes both are glowing uh, now I am testing the inverter output also in the right side only when I connect plug the cable it should not become uh, wrong connection okay I have connected it let's connect the UPS input so UPS input will take the negative and grounding let's switch on so it's a common cable positive only will go out from the inverter so now if I go and switch on the light and fan it will glow uh, since I have not used my battery for more than a one and a half month uh, I'm not going to test with the battery I just want to test uh, whether uh, the entire connection is working or not you can see here uh, main on is uh, glowing and uh, UPS is getting charged I have switched on the inverter if it is works then uh, everything is fine I hope uh, this video is uh, useful for you people if you like it uh, give a thumbs up uh, and subscribe to my channel uh, this is Kishore Kumar here you are watching Kcops vlogs bye